In the wealthiest county in Pennsylvania, 50,000 people go hungry on a daily basis. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Gary Bigham. He is fundraising coordinator for Fiorenza's Food for Friends, or F4. Thanks for being with us. Hello, Jill. Thanks for having me. When we think about Chester County, we think of a wealthy, uh, an affluent county. But you say even with the wealth, even with people succeeding here in the county, there's still some 50,000 people that don't necessarily know where that next meal is coming from. Absolutely. Um, and F4 um, is out to uh, conquer that, uh, make sure that those folks are fed. Um, F4 is on a mission of eradicating hunger, not only locally, but throughout the world as well. And let's get into some of the ways in which they work to do that. One is by acting as an intermediary when it comes to food that may otherwise be thrown away. How does this work? Uh, well, throughout the United States, as an example, there's um, food is thrown away in, in a restaurant almost on a daily basis. And I'm not talking about a couple of pounds. I'm, call, I'm talking about a couple of tons of food are thrown away, uh, not only on a daily basis, but on a yearly basis. Um, some of these foods are um, obviously uh, nutritional in value, um, but that food that's going to waste could be given to either a food bank, um, it could be donated, especially if it's not perishable, um, to people that are uh, in a hunger situation. Uh, and we act as the inter intermediary uh, to get the food from that restaurant over to the food bank. And that's an important point because there, there are the logistical challenges of moving particularly perishable goods from one location to another, from a restaurant, for example, to a pantry. Right. Uh, and those logistical challenges are something that we we will work with. So we'll, we'll take that onus off the restaurant's hand. We'll take that onus off of the, uh, the store's hand. Uh, and we'll act as the compliant director and we'll bring them uh, the services that are needed to get the food from their uh, location to the right location. You though, as a fundraising coordinator, work with businesses, you work with individuals, organizations who want to develop partnerships, who want to uh, look for sponsorships, donations, host food drives, really look to get involved in many different ways. Right, um, and, and they also have uh, a reason to be a part of our mission. Uh, there's so many organizations that are out there that want to give, they just don't know how. Um, so it's my job to go out and, and talk about what the, the mission actually does, what we're looking to do and how they could help. Um, in some cases, they, uh, they set up um, uh, ways to donate either through a, um, uh, a food, um, a, uh, an actual food donation center, or they'll, they'll set up to have the uh, foods brought over to us, um, or simply a donation of checks, money, uh, anything that they can give or even volunteering their services. And just well. a few seconds left, but you're really encouraging others to get involved. Absolutely. Um, the one, one passion I've always had is to be as selfless as I, I can be, and I think that's a great re reward for anybody. Be selfless, and it's more rewarding than, than anything that money or materials can actually do. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Jill. Thank you. We've been talking with Gary Bickham. I'm Jill Horner.